All right, hello YouTube and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Brittany and in this video, I'm just gonna have a chat about my 2017 year. So let's get on with it. 2017 was an interesting year. Um, it was my first year being out of school. So I wasn't an official student anywhere, not in high school, not in college. Um, not enrolled anywhere. So I was really like an independent learner. When I was in school, I set this resolution for myself that I would always be a student. So I would always be enrolled in a course. I don't think that held up very well throughout 2017, but I did start with a course. So I graduated in 2016, December of 2016. And I decided that it would be a great idea to travel a bit this year and not really settle or continue education. I actually kind of decided that earlier in 2016, but 2017 was my time to like actually act that out and prove to myself that's what I really wanted to do. In January, early January, I left to Italy and I lived there for three months with my boyfriend who is Italian. The reason I was there for three months instead of the entire year because as an American, I'm only allowed in the Schengen area for 90 days. So I basically maxed out my visa staying there. While I was there, I took a TEFL course or in order to become a certified teacher of English as a foreign language. And I got my certification in Florence. And that was, um, that was an important weekend for me, you know, getting my cert, whatever, but like being in Florence by myself, my boyfriend didn't come with me. So I had to have, you know, enough Italian to get by and the confidence to like make my way around the city. It was a very important weekend, like I said. Also went to London later that stint. And honestly, I didn't really like London that much. I don't know if it was, maybe it was like the weekend or maybe it was just, I actually don't like London, but I would like to give London another chance. So I went to two new countries in 2017 came back in April. I was actually like depressed leaving Yab. I don't, and it's it's so weird. Like Gab and I have been together for a while, but I still feel so attached to him. Like I just like hate being away from him even for like a weekend. And we're just so attached. So like being away after being together for three months every day, um, that was, that was really tough coming back. So I think April, I started applying for some jobs in the place where my family lived, lived with my family in order to save on rent and stuff. And plus I didn't, really want to have anywhere else that I really wanted to go. So I stayed with my family, applied to some jobs, and I ended up choosing a gym that was pretty good. It was, you know, it was, it was a nice, it was, it was super casual gym and I liked it because then I could really just like do my own thing and be left alone. And then I started a, a fitness Instagram and I kind of set an intention to do a little more, a little bit more fitness stuff online still a goal. <laughs> I'm really sad to say, but I don't really remember much else about that time. Um, it was really just like, okay, I'm going to work. I'm going to save up money. I'm going to make stuff on the internet and blah, blah, blah. I was really just kind of getting by. I was just trying to hold myself over until I went back to Italy in July, as soon as they could let me back in. Because after my 90 days, I had to wait 90 days. I went back in July. Also around that time, I discovered this group called Manifestation Babe. It's actually a company or, or brand that this girl started and there was a Facebook group and it was a nice thing to find. It was basically like about spiritual personal development, a lot of like the law of attraction, like woo woo stuff, which I'm not, I got really into during that period. And then I've kind of like stepped away from it while still putting a lot of value in the part about spiritual health and mental, balance i guess it's still super valid so i went to italy for three weeks in july and again that was the max amount of time i could go from when my visa let me back in to when i had to be back for band camp basically the, de the definition of my fall was marching band i really enjoyed that i love being a color guard coach i think that's that's like my perfect job it was kind of frustrating at times especially there was like a huge staff change at the beginning also felt very lonely during that time. Well, just like where I lived in the villages, quite lonely because there aren't really a lot of people my age around there, just, you know, seniors and then high schoolers. And I also felt like there wasn't really a place for me to like do my hobbies, um, like dance. Like I, I went to a dance studio and, and I didn't like it. And 
the other ones were like too far away to justify the drive so I really just again like just like making myself get by like I don't really have friends around here I don't really have like a place I like to go to and become a better person I'm really just like working and then going to the marching band rehearsal and completely like thinking about the next step which was to move to Australia on a work and holiday visa okay so maybe I have to back it up in February Gab and I, my boyfriend, we realized that in order for us to be together soon and long term, it can't be in Italy or America. The visas aren't aren't generous enough. So we decided, I think February, March, that okay, I guess we're gonna go to Australia because we can both get visas there. August is when I applied for the visa and I got it, and then in September I made the announcement to my family. And that was it, that was my goal, that's what I wanted to do. So Basically that whole fall was about me getting ready to move to Australia. And as soon as the marching band season finished, I celebrated Thanksgiving with my family and then I left to go to Australia. And that's where I am now. It's been just such a, a, a crazy year. Usually in the past, my years have been defined by semesters and breaks and seasons, as in like color guard or marching band seasons or winter guard seasons. and today this year was the first year that I was on I haven't I haven't been this is really sad I haven't been to a single um, drum corps show or winter guard show just I hate being like so removed from the activity and yeah like teaching color guard that fall like that was that was amazing and that was you know it was wonderful to still be a part of it but like <sighs> being a performer is like such a part of me and I didn't really realize it until like I guess when I like moved out here and I realized like like I'm I'm not gonna have this like color guard out, color guard outlet anymore so I think that's like been the hardest thing about this year I love not having to go to school not having homework even though I do miss learning and putting my time and, and energy and knowledge brain power towards something like a piece of paper even if it's just like a certificate I would enjoy working towards that and I don't know if, I don't know if I genuinely enjoy that or it's just like such a part of my life that I just feel like I have to do it but I am enrolled in another course now so my t I'm already looking at my 2018 goals of finishing that this has been a good a good year that this is kind of wild just because like I was here and then I did this and I don't really know what I did in the middle and then I did this and I kind of enjoyed it but I was kind of lonely and then now I'm in Australia I think 2018 could be even more sporadic than this year agreed like this is my life now like I don't know like when you grow up like you think so much about like graduating high school and about like what you're gonna do in college like so much of my life was like about college and then even like when I was in college everything was about being out of college and now I'm out of college and I now what <laughs> so thank you 2017 for all that you have brought and done for me and thank you oh i also did youtube the whole time the whole time so wow <laughs> okay okay that's all i want to say about this this year mostly good things but i gotta stop ranting and i gotta get ready for 2018 which is in like two days so thank you youtube so much for watching i hope you'll check back and see what else i have to say about the next year Bye bye